and they shall and they that forsake the Lord shall be consumed. For they shall be ashamed of the oaks which he have desired, and he shall be confounded for the gardens that he have chosen. For he shall be as an oak whose leaf fadeth, and as a garden that have no water. And the strong shall be as tow, and the maker of it as a spark, and they shall both burn together, and none shall quench them. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise God, giving God thanks for his word. Praise God, he said, he that has ears to hear, let him hear. Praise God. And this word today is for us, praise God, that we turn and look to the Lamb of God. Bless the Lord Jesus. We have our hymnal. We're going to turn to 186 in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. It is almost time for the Lord to come ahead, the people say. The stars of heaven are growing deep. Oh, it must be the breaking of the day.
it must be. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. It must be the breaking of the day. The night is almost gone. And the day is coming on. I say it must going to be the breaking of the day. So it's almost time, oh God, for the Lord to come. We hear the people say, glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. We can see the sign of the time that he is here. Even at the door, so many things is going on in this world. Praise the name of the Lord. But we forgot that the Bible told us about all of what is going on. So it must. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I say it must. Be the breaking of the day. Jesus is here. <laughs> He's at the door. <laughs> I am looking to myself that I need God more. More than anything else. More than food. Praise the name of the Lord. Because when we can do it our food, we can do it our God. Bless the name of Jesus. You walk in the supermarket, the shelves are empty. Nothing to buy. Some come out back with an empty trolley. It must be the breaking of the day. God is coming soon. <laughs> Glory to God. I say it's coming soon. Glory to God. God is near. Even at the door, he tell us, Virgin, we're going to have our money. <laughs> oh, yes. What to buy? <laughs> oh, we can't get anything to buy. Praise God. You walk on the shelf, tiny paper, no tiny paper. You walk for water, no water. You walk for rice, no rice. You walk for sugar, no sugar. Oh, hallelujah. Can you see the time that it is near <laughs> when we wake up I am waking up glory to God I am waking up <laughs> I say I wake up <laughs> I wake up. <laughs> Bless the name of Jesus. Because the time is near. It is closer than we think. <laughs> Bless the name of the Lord. We give God thanks. <laughs> ah, this virus, coronavirus, is going around. I heard at 21 in London. Praise God. From 2 to 21. Praise God. But you know why? I'm covered under the blood <laughs> cover under the blood <laughs> when you cover under the blood nothing can do you no harm praise the name of the lord because somebody come to you and they had a virus because you cover praise god nothing trouble you bless the name of the lord i'm grateful today for the mighty god I'm thankful today for the mighty deliverer. I'm thankful today for the almighty God. Bless the name of Jesus. Glory to God. May we wake up, brethren. Wake up. Bless the name of Jesus. Now it's time for the horseman and the footman. Glory to God. But we stay in Jesus and do what he have, we have wish to do. Praise God. We are safe in the arms of the Lord. And we give him thanks. We glorify his name. He is a good God. A good friend. He's faithful. Praise God. I say he's a faithful God. Praise the name of the Lord. And today we are grateful to be here. Praise God one more time. In Jesus name. And I'm going to ask if you are here for the very first time. Glory to God. You are in this house. For the very first time. Can you stand? Bless the name of the Lord. 
Praise God. What a good God. What a good God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Keep standing. On the behalf of our pastor, Pastor Douglas, praise God, evangelist, ministers, and all the bridging here, we welcome you. We're glad to have you. You're in your father's house. Praise God when we saw you or see you coming in. Praise God there's a smile on our face because we know God here and answer the prayer. And before you go today, if you don't accept the Lord, today is your day. Glory to God. It's so nice to be saved. I'm telling you something. It is so nice. Praise God to be saved. God bless you today in Jesus' name. Glory to God. You may be seated. Glory to God. Bless the name of Jesus. God is here. Praise God is real. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Glory to God. I just want to worship him. That's how I want to worship him. I want to give him thanks for his goodness and for his mercy. Praise God. He's so sweet. To trust in Jesus and to take him at his word. I say it is good. It is joy to have Jesus in you. It is joy. It's the unspeakable and it's full of glory. And it half had never yet been told. Praise God. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Say, blessed is the man that trusted in him. Don't go out the way you came, but go back with God. You accept him as your personal savior in Jesus' Sign name. Sign me up for, for the, the Christian Jubilee. Write my name, write my name on the road. Oh, I've been changed, I've been changed since the Lord has lifted me.
Praise God. Praise God. I want to be ready. When Jesus come, <laughs> praise God. And that's my aim. And that's my desire. That when Jesus come, I'm going to be ready. Bless the name of the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. And I'm asking to help me, oh Lord, that I will hold the faith and keep the faith. Kind of. Praise God. My change will come. Bless the name of Jesus. Glory to God. The song was saying, stand up. Stand up for Jesus. He says, we soldier of the cross. Live high the royal Daniel. Praise, it must be so for long. Glory. Stand up. Hallelujah. Stand up. In Jesus' name. I'm going to stand. In Jesus' name. Glory to God. Because he's the best friend. Glory to God. That I ever have is Jesus. <laughs> so sweet. So wonderful. So powerful. Praise God. No other God. Praise God. Can I stand before him. I was reading a little this morning. About um, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. Praise God. And while I was reading it. You know it was Nebuchadnezzar. Bless the name of Jesus. And he was saying that he had an image that they should worship. Praise God. Sometimes you have some people that are so nosy. And they will watch you from morning till night. So they will watch Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And they would they go back and tell Nebuchadnezzar. So he said to them, is it true? Bless God. He asked them, is it true? Praise God. And they said, yes. Bless the name of Jesus. Because you see, they don't know any other God. But the true and living God. Glory to God. So he said to them, the most noble men, put the fire on seven times. Praise God. Hotter than how it is. Praise God. And then bind them. Then bind them. Tie them hand. Before that, they said, Nebuchadnezzar, I'm not careful. Whether my God deliver or not, but I will not bow. Praise God. Praise God. They say I will not bow. So he tell them to hot the fire seven times. And when they hot the fire seven times, then bind them. Praise God. They tie them. Praise God. Sometimes you're in church and you're a Christian and they said, nobody can do you this. Now you can either inbound them. He tied them up. But even though he tied them up, there's a God that they believe in. Bless the name of Jesus. So they tied their hand and foot and they cast them in the fire. Praise God. And even the big, strong, noble man that threw them in the fire, they were scorched. Praise God. But Meshach, praise God, and Amendigo, praise God, they was in the fire because they know the God they believe. And God delivered them. Praise God. And while I was reading, that they say, I'm not careful enough. I feel some pimple start to come out on my body. Praise the name of the Lord. And I begin to read. Praise God. And I begin to read. And the word of God. It be a, a food for my stomach. Praise God. And it helped me. Praise God to hold on. Praise God. They will do a lot of things to you. But is your faith going to bring you out? Is your faith going to deliver you? Hold on to faith. <laughs> Glory to God. I'm giving God thanks for the God that we sir. Praise God. No other God but the true and living God. So no matter what around you, no matter what they want to do with you, praise God or to tell you there is one God. Praise God. And he is a deliverer. And if you be faithful and mean God, mean to serve him, praise God. He will deliver you from the hand of the enemy. Bless the name of Jesus. And my desire today is to hold on to faith. Praise God. He 
He's a good God. Bless the name of Jesus. Can we give God a praise? Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Greet God with our life this morning and greet our pastor and all the brethren in the majestic name of Jesus Christ. He is a wonderful Savior. A wonderful Savior is Jesus, my Lord. A wonderful Savior is He. He hideth my soul in the cleft of the rock and covers me there with His hand. Brethren, we are covered under the blood. Praise God. The world is in a panic, but we are covered under the blood. Brethren, we have no fear or alarm once you're under the blood. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Last night I was going to my bed and I just got, was reflecting. And I was looking at my flights to go home and they would look, don't look good to go home. And I said to the Lord, God, how am I going to get out of here? But, but, but I'm not in panic. And I, my mom called me and she was saying that, Oh, the, soup, the, the stores are, 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 are empty and people are panicking and buying all type of things. And I, and I looked at her and I said, I said, we should not have fear like the world should have fear. We should have fear and have anxiety as the world does. Because we have a hope in Christ Jesus. In these times, the Bible said we shall, we shall look up for our redemption right now. Sometimes we take it lightly that God is coming. But it's right now evident in our midst that Jesus will soon descend. And the Bible said in Revelation, when you, he said, who he find holy shall be holy still. Who he find filthy shall be filthy still. What state are we in right now? Because we have to be ready at all times. Sometimes we, we, we I, I look, I reflect and I look. And sometimes when somebody's going to pick us up, we said that we are getting ready. And the person comes for us. And, 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 and they will call us and say, I'm five minutes away. And you're like, I'm ready. Don't worry, I'm ready. I'm ready. And they come to the door. Amen. And we're still not at the door. Amen. We're there. We're there fostered and getting all things. But we have to be ready, waiting. Amen. Our hearts have to be prepared to meet God. Not getting ready. It's no time to think and to wonder if I'm saved. If I'm going to make it. But we have to be sure. Make your calling and election sure. Because the time now is when, 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 when men will not endure sound doctrine. The time now is when men is doing their own things. But we have to be ready in our mind, in our hearts. Saying, God, prepare my heart to meet you. Prepare my mind to see you. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Praise God, we are going to stand. Bless the name of Jesus. For we know that Jesus is coming. Praise God, morning or night or noon. Praise God, it's a trumpet with sound. Oh, Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Help me. Oh, God. Praise God. Bless the name of the Lord. Going to ask our pastor to come to the church. Praise God, church, our pastor, in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everyone. Greetings in Jesus' name. Um, I'm so glad to be here one more time. Amen. Glad to see Mr. and Mrs. Douglas. Brother and sister Douglas. Welcome back. I'm glad to see everyone here today. Glad for our dear brother. Uh, and our sister Marjorie and all those that went away and, uh, and come back. Thank God for you. God bring you safe. Amen. God is good. I like you to stop and think, you see. Welcome for everyone that are here for the first time. Welcome for those that God uh, in mercy, all of us, all of us. Thank God for mercy. Uh, and thank God for those that went out yesterday and they are back in church. Bless you, bless you. Amen. I, when I went, I was on the coach yesterday and when on my way I was praying and I was crying because I see the wrath of God. 
somebody didn't want to come to church, but I was thinking that if they don't come to church, somebody was saying even to me the other day, are you closing church like other people? I said, no. She said, that's right. I've been telling them. And she's not saved. How could people close church now? Sinner and Christian closing church. And I was saying to myself, we, we, the first person that have this bug, where did they get it from? The first one, they get the bug. Where did they get it from? Amen. And we're going to do some prayer today. I remember when God spoke to me right over there. And said, God rot. You remember? Yes, God rot. Yes. God rot. Yes. And those that are taking everything off the shelf and pack away, how long that going to last? Amen. Amen. That is the talking now, so we have to talk about it. Amen. But even Christian packing up, they're not packing up, they're packing up, you're talking about, you know. They're packing up food. But we want to be ready. Amen. We want to prepare our soul. And those who are not saved, you need to repent of your sin. Amen. You know, every time you come in church, you, you either come for um, condemnation or justification. I only back home, I know Baptist people. Every Sunday they go to church. They go to church, brother. Mm -hmm. They're not Christian. They didn't go to be saved. Amen. It's Sunday. I'm Baptist people I'm, and them Presbyterian and them type. They put on the clothes and they go to church. <laughs> Amen. And they have on everything and do what they have to do because they go to church. There are some coming here. They are coming to church. Amen. So don't think everybody come to be saved or they come to baptize or they come to worship God. Remember, they come to church. And those who know they don't come to church, they will worship God. Amen. 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 You don't have to tell them come early or come late. You don't have to tell them dress like that and don't dress that way. You don't have to tell them run and or sit down. They are worshipers. But those that come to church, they will be like the Pharisee and the Sadducee. All they are doing, they're watching and criticizing. Amen. Amen. But those that are ready, the Bible said, they that were ready went in. Amen. Hey! And the door was shut. Amen. Somebody says, shut in with thee. The Lord forever. Hey, my wayward feet. Hey, no more to roam. Shorty. It's not Sunday. It's the Lord's day. Amen. It's not, it's we call it Sunday. But in him today. Today is the Lord's day. And we're going to pray, brethren. And save everyone. Thank God that we come in here. We have faith. Amen. That's why we are here. Amen. Some not come in today, not tonight. I wonder if they're going to shut up in their bedroom. Because even those that go outside, as long as they go out and shop, and you stay home, they're going to bring it for you. Amen. They might as well you go out there. <laughs> Unless you're going to lock up in your bedroom. And when you finish that food, <laughs> what are you going to do? You can't send nobody shopping for you. No. But Lord, I come in the house. So God is our protector. Somebody was saying, I saw it and they, um, and they, and they, the, the, the mm, this man said, I'm going down to, to, uh, to, to, to China. God deal with it. I'm going to deal. I don't know if you see it. I'm going to deal with it. Killing out the people then. And I was saying, you better watch them not deal with you. God will deal with you. Yes. Little after that, I saw it. He said, he said, the man that was going to deal with him <laughs> end up in hospital. 
God deal with him. Lord God. You can't fight against God, Ron. I'm going to deal with it, you know. God deal with him. He ain't up in hospital. You can't deal with it. We have to pray. That's what we got to do, brethren. Amen. We got to beg God for mercy. God wants us to ask him for mercy. Amen. When the wrath of God pour out, are we are going through heartaches and hard time? God say, when we acknowledge yes. and cry to him, he said in the Bible, and I believe, he said we'll have mercy. Amen. Amen. Yes, true. Amen. Amen. And he said, rejoice not in iniquity. Amen. We need to pray for mercy. Amen. And we're going to pray, all of us, children, the Bible said when the, when the flood came, even the children drowned. Amen. God didn't have mercy, and children are nobody, because he were warning them, and they would not accept the word of God. And it came to pass that when they were crying, for an hour. Right, God is talking to each and every one of us today. And they reject the word of God. It's true. When they saw the flood and they couldn't do otherwise, and right. they find out no, that, they let their cry. But the word of God, their crying was too, too late. late. Yeah. Too late. And they were calling him Noah. Yeah. But no for Noah. Yeah, Open the door. Yeah, go ahead. But Paul I was saying door. that when you go to prison, they tell off the tell off the police and they cross out the distant road and they cross them. But when they bang the door, they put them in the prison and bang, they say, Officer. Yeah, go ahead. It's true. I heard. Office. I heard. Yeah, go ahead. Help. Yeah, go ahead. It's two words. I heard. God wants us to change. Hey! God glory, glory. want us yes. glory. to look in our own self and see if he should come now. These things is pointing us to the return of Christ. Yes. Amen. It's true. It's true. Bed we have and we won't sleep in them. True. Can have clothes and can wear. Amen. True word. It's Food true. and can eat. Amen. It's true. And there's a time when there'll be no jobs. Because they're going to give it to the people who they like to give it. And like some of us won't get none. Sure. As much less your children. You go ahead. And go those ahead. who are working and think the government. One of these days the government won't govern nothing more for you and I. You go ahead. And our money then govern. But we won't get none. You go ahead. It's true word. They are better all those who. Oh when me force my stomach hurt me. My head. You don't see nothing yet. You better practice from if you want tea, drink water. Go I don't it. I want some drinks and I drink water. You go ahead. I want a piece of yam and I eat something like potato. I don't make me I rule this. Amen. Go ahead. I want coffee and I drink water. Amen. No rule me. Suppose yeah. don't coffee not there. What me going to do? Yes. I don't always jump on bed and pray out. I lie down on the floor. Yes. Go ahead. Got used to it, brother. I stay for a whole day. I'm not fasting. Drink water, a little bit of water, and don't eat no food. Long time, not now. Just in case. It's true. You're right. Everlasting, a dash when a brag and do. And every minute you pop style. One of the days where you can pop style. Amen. Help! You got a backslide. Amen. Go ahead. It's the word. It's the word. Glory. Not everything Glory. you want, you must have. Sure. You must have the Savior. That's all we must have. Amen. Amen. God said, they that obey him, heaven shall be your home. That is it's true. only for those that obey yeah, God, yeah. heaven for, not for everybody. Amen. We can sing all my hopes and theory lie. And when we can't get no food, it start now. I was saying we better love one another. For all of us have to go pack up upstairs. Amen. And lie down all here, Amen. so. And in the little room that we have. Yes, and pray off and, and share with a little potato. Yes. Go ahead. Better let our heart knit. 
It's the word. This is our refuge. It's true. And God give us five toilets and two shower and holy pot things in your big kitchen. Yes. You think God foolish? It's true. I'm doing things. Amen. It's true. Just stay there. Give us store room and store of food. We have food and holy pot something around it. Amen. Why? It's true. We must be grateful. Be grateful. All who proud and high. You say, we can lie down upon them bench here. Amen. Thank God me used to it. You go ahead. Amen. No problem for me, brother. We used to be start from indoors. Amen. Help! Amen. It's true. Amen. I don't want to drink out of the cup there. You want to drink out of it? You go ahead. It's true word. You want to have your house, all it. It's, it's Holy Ghost talk. Amen. You go ahead. Amen. I mean, I sit on the side of the one day. You go and beg them to give me a bit of your cover now. You go ahead. It's the word. Amen. It's end time. Better start from now. We're going to beg God for mercy. Amen. We're going to beg God for mercy. If we beg him for mercy, he will stay his wrath. It's God wrath, brethren. It's not just here. It's everywhere. It's the wrath of God. And are only those that have I will see. Amen. 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 Because when God sent Noah to warn the people, they didn't care. They were waiting to see if it's true. Amen. But when they find out it was too late, Amen. we're going to pray now. Amen. 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 Some don't want to come to church. I them not want to get it. I'm telling you. God put his law and love in our hearts. And instead of we come and give him thanks and mercy, stay home doing what? Touch them today. Touch them today. Reach their heart today. Bring them out today. Give them the victory today. Oh my God, my Father, deliver them right now. Bring them out, bring them out, bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. Pray for the wrath of God now. All of us. All of us. We cannot pray, bring them out of your prayer for mercy and wrath. We must be great. Not true, my precious. Amen. May pray for death and your prayer for life. Go work. The Bible says to agree. I'm more than two in here. And all of us are going to agree now. That God have mercy yeah. on the whole world yeah. and everybody. Yeah. And mercy yeah. stays raw yeah. because God wrought. Yeah. It's not Satan in God. God deal with it. God deal with it. God deal with this. No doctor can deal with this. It's God. We can go to Him today for our family, for our children, for our wife, for our brethren. For other those in St. Lucia, Barbados, in Trinidad, Maserat, and Trinidad everywhere. Bangladesh, and everywhere. In China, Lord God. In America and Canada. In France, Spain, and in Belgium. In Italy. Lord God
Amen, and because we have faith in God, that's why we are here. Minister Miller will do the rest. Thank you, Jesus. pastor has spoken, amen, as the Lord lead her. But to confirm what she said, can we all stand right now, brethren? I would like if I just the sister um, Douglas to come read the scripture. Some verses here, please. It's Revelation 18, yeah? It speaks about, God says that we should come out from the world, and be not partakers of the world's sin, or you will receive the plague upon you. Just read it briefly, as to confirm what Pastor was saying. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Our afternoon's lesson is taken from, we're going to be reading from Revelation chapter 18, in Jesus' name. I'll begin. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon, the great, is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are wax rich through the abundance of her delicacies. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God has remembered her iniquities. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her double according to her works, in the cup which she has filled, fill it to her double. How much she has glorified herself and lived deliciously for much torment and sorrow give her. For she saith in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her place come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord God who judgeth her. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her, shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning, standing afar off for the fears of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, 
for no man buyeth their merchandise anymore. Their merchandise of gold and silver and precious stones and of pearls and fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet and all fine wood and all manner vessels of ivory and all manner vessels of precious wood and of brass and of iron and marble and cinnamon and odors and ointments and frankincense and wine and oil and fine flour and wheat and beast and sheep and horses and chariots and slaves and souls of men and the fruits that, they, that thy soul lusted after are departed from thee and all things which were dainty and goodly are departed from thee and thou shalt find there no more at all. The merchants of these things which are made rich by her shall stand afar off for the fear of her torment, weeping and wailing, and saying, Alas, alas, that great city that was clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, for in one hour so great riches is come to naught, and every shipmaster and all the company in ships and sailors and as many as trade by sea stood afar off and cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, What city is like unto this great city? And they cast dust on their heads and cried, weeping and wailing, sailing, Alas, alas, that great city wherein were made rich all that had ships in the sea by reasons of her costliness, for in one hour is she made desolate. Rejoice over her, though heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets, for God has avenged you on her. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. And the voices of harpers and musicians and of pipers and trumpeters shall be heard no more at all in thee, and no craftsman of whatsoever craft he be shall be found any more in thee, and the sound of a millstone shall be heard no more at all in thee. And the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee, and the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee. For thy merchants were the great men of the earth, for by the sorceries were all nations deceived. 24 and last. And in her was found the blood of prophets and of saints and of all that were slain upon the earth. That's the word of the Lord. Amen. The last verse says, oh, sorry, the last verse just read. Sorry. And the remnant were slain with the sword of him. Sorry. Sorry, my apologies. 18. 18. Last verse, 18. And in her was found the blood of the prophets and of the saints, and of all them that were slain upon the earth. We know that Babylon is not a city, it's a power, yeah? That is opposition to God. Amen? And from the beginning of time, that evil force has always been there, trying to break down the kingdom of God. And throughout history, we know, all the, com all the powers of the world, the empires that have been before, they all, all have been run by this force, this evil. The world has been running by this evil from the beginning. Yeah. And the agenda of the devil is to destroy the righteous. Yes. But God said in his word that this would happen. Amen? Yes. And also he says, in the last days, there's going to be a man that's going to rise up, which is called the beast. He's going to say, when the world is in a chaos yes. and there's problems in the world, they're oh. looking for a solution of somebody to solve the problem. That is true. And this is only the start of the problem. It's going to get so bad that they're going to look for somebody in political power to get up and say, what shall we do? Yes, that is Then true. the beast in Revelation, will turn up. So, he will say, no matter what religion you're under, That's everybody true. is under this, this curse or that this plague. 
So he will give you a solution. That is true. He will say, the solution is, you take my mark, my name, my number, or my image. That is true. Out of three, you can take it, which is 666. He will come in with the government of the world, give him the authority. Not Trump. It's not Trump. It's not, it's not um, Boris. It's not, it's not them. Somebody going to come out above them over the whole entire world. He will come with the authority which they're going to give him. They're going to give him the power. He said the king is going to give him the power. Yes. And he's going to come up with your ultimate authority yes. over easy. every nation. I gave you the declaration. This is my number. You either take it or you die. But the Bible says that whosoever take that number the doom. or the name, he said the name, the, image. the number or the image. The doom. You see, how do you get this image? Where how did it come from? In the Bible, the King James Version says, take the image in your forehead or in your hand. It says in, yeah? The new version says on. So, I ask the question, the new translation says image on your head or your hand. But the original version says in your head and in your hand. So, why did they change the word in to on? For if it's on you, I can see it on you. But if it's in you, I can't see it in you. Because it's inside of you. So it goes for your mind. The enemy goes to control your mind. So he makes you, first of all, don't believe the word of God. And he says, he says come out from Babylon. Don't take part of her sins. Brethren, Unless you know what, you, what is wrong, you won't know what is right. That is true. Is that right? Unless you know what is right, how can you determine what is wrong? You have to ask God first to tell you what is right, what is wrong, what is wrong. You might say, there's nothing wrong with going here, nothing wrong with going here. But is that what God wants? Do God offer you to go there? Did God say you can go there? Did you ask him, can you do this? Can you ask him, can you say this? He must, you must ask him first. What to do. Amen. Then he will tell you what to do. Amen. Then you can say you are doing what he will you to do. Amen. Otherwise you are going a contrary to the word of God or to the will of God. So this is coming. This is it's coming. It is coming. This is only the start of it. And you know, I said to myself this morning, if they called enough Top of the road, police car both end. So you say you can't come to the church. And they say by May, it may peak higher. So they're saying, yeah? And they put a cordon in that you can't come down this road. If you come in here, you break the law. You don't want God, God cover me. If you break the law by moving past that cordon of the police car, they'll put you in prison for that. For it become a national security. So you cannot break the law. And they're going to make the law to affect church. The law is coming to affect church. So you can't come as you want. But if you look at the bigger picture, this coronavirus corona is only a way in, you know. It's a way in. A way in. So if they can shut down theater, shut down cinema, shut down football ground, Hulk Airport, how can they shut on our church? They're bringing new law overnight in Parliament. What I mean, you can't say, what I'm saying, if they put a coordinate top of the road here, put a police, put a roadblock. We, that's why we have to pray. We have to pray hard. We have to pray, as mom said, pray hard, hard, proper prayer for they don't block this road. You got to pray hard that. You don't come in a hackney. You gotta pray hard. Because any at all, they'll block this road or hackney. Like Italy, shut down Italy. You only can go to the shop in emergency. Brethren, it is coming. 
but to believe it, it is coming. And you need to get right with God. Because judgment is on the earth. And if you need to know what to do right, you need to confess your sins. Repent of your sins. If anybody that you have hurt in your lifetime, and they have grieved because of you, it could be your mother, your father, your uncle, your brother, anyone that you have hurt, and you know you have hurt them, you need to pick up your telephone. Because no matter if you come to God and you still have envy against them, God don't forgive you, you know? If you have anything in your heart against anyone, and you don't say sorry, and say, I apologize, I put it right, yes. you come to God, God don't forgive you. He says, if you come to offer your sacrifice, yes, leave your gift. Jesus said, and you know that your brother has suffered against you, leave your gift, leave your gift here, sorry. go back and make right with your brother, then, then come, come back and pray. Offer your gift. If you refuse to do that, you could be here 20 years and get nowhere. That's the word. And we can't waste time no more. Years. Even the bus can say they're not taking you no more. The bus can say, we're not carrying a passenger. The driver said, we're not driving no bus no more. Brethren, it's, it's very serious. So, brethren, a pastor, we need to pray that God will help us. That we will turn to him with our all hearts. And finally, for this is for the church, yeah? This is what I'm going to say for the church. God told Jeremiah, tell the people of Israel that if they do not turn and will seek me with, with all their heart and follow my ways, God tell the, Jeremiah, tell the people, if the people of Israel don't turn to me and follow me with all their heart and do my ways, I will make their house desolate. I, God, will turn against them. If the devil, if the devil turn against you, you, go, you can go to God. But if God turn against you, there is nobody can help you. God says, come, follow me, do what I say, then I will deliver. So if you need a special prayer tonight, today, and for those who are not, first of all, let us pray for those who, who need to, to be saved. If you need to be saved, you want God to touch your heart today, come to the altar first, and we'll pray for you. We're giving you an invitation right now. It don't cost nothing. We're not giving you no holy water, holy oil. We don't believe in those things. We pray with the authority of God. We don't say take this buckle with you and go home. We don't believe in those things. And, and we believe in prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If you're sick, he says call the elder, right? And the elder will pray for you with oil. Amen. Anoint you. Whatever you need in this life, whatever you need, come to the altar. Harden in thee, thou blessed book of ages. Hiding in thee, Jesus. Hiding in thee, Jesus. Hiding